Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for yet another episode with American Trucking Simulator. Our goal, I think, and what I previously did not mention in the first episode is to grow into a trucking empire from nothing. As you can see, well, you can't really see it behind me right here, Murano Trucking Co. only has $8,100 to its name. So our goal is to grow that, and the goal for this episode is to work towards getting our own truck. That's right. We do not have our own truck yet. We're still working working to get there and we are currently level one we're a newbie we have a rating of 0 0.8 so let's see what we can get into also i would like to mention another rule of the series is that we are not going to take out a loan i'm going to try my best not to get a loan and just jump into a truck Right. We could very easily get up to about 12000 take out a $100,000 loan, and hit the ground running with our own truck. I think we should go the hardcore route, the hardcore run your company lean as possible. No loans right off the bat, because that can actually ruin a company, and that can put the cart before the horse, so to speak. So, let's go to the job market, and let's do our first run of the day. Now, where we left, left off last time, I believe was at Jackpot, I think is where we last ran to. What do we have at Jackpot? It looks like we have a UPS run to a Dollar General. It's going to Reno. That is a very long trip. Very long trip. $10.28 a mile, but it's $4,100 even though it's literally half of what this would be, which is just down the road to Elko. Here's also another run. This is literally, it's only 356 bucks, but it's like a five minute run. It's jackpot to jackpot, $9.66 a mile. I think we take just a job up front here. Let's take it. Let's just bang out a quick local run. It's frozen goods. All right, we're in the truck. Now I've installed a couple of mods, but they're only, they're, they're nothing like super game breaking. I installed a graphical mod that gives higher quality graphics and I've installed more realistic sounds or something like that, like more realistic wind sounds. You can't like really hear it real well, but yeah. All right, let's uh, hit the second camera and see what we got going on here. Looks like we're picking up from a farm with a day cab here, just running it down the road. All right, let's go ahead and start him up. I like this farm. Actually, I want to stop here for just a second, and I want to take a look around because this would give me ideas for my farming simulator series to where we could have like a pickup place like this, like have a barn here. It looks like, I don't know what kind of crop they're doing. Oh, I like this, and have a road run out. We could actually make this in our farming simulator playthrough. We got circular fields, looks like. I don't know what they're growing, though. Very interesting. Okay, let's hit the hay, or let's hit the road, rather. Oh, that realistic engine noise that I downloaded? That sounds so much better. Oh, I hope the volume's good for you guys. You'll have to let me know in the comments. All right. Can't really see real well outside the uh, cab there in first person mode. These graphics are a lot better, I think. It's like we're just going down the road as well. A cop pulled out in front of us. Here we are. Oh, it was just going to UPS. Are you serious? All right, let's come to a stop. Let's hit the enter key. And uh, what do they need it at? Right there. Let's try it as our first time actually backing into an unloading area. So this is gonna be tricky. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, puppy dogs. Okay. No problem. Look at the reefer. Oh man, that is sick. All right. Come on, we can do this. I believe. I don't wanna cut too awful hard. We got some room. We got some room to work with. I mean, not wiggle my entire desk, holy cow. Every time I turn the wheel, it's got this force feedback. To skip parking, it entered. Oh no, we got it. This ain't too bad, it's not too crowded. So let's go straight back with it. Straight back. Could have been cleaner, I think. I think. I don't think we're doing bad. Let's put that corner back there. And this ain't even doing it like in the cockpit. We're probably gonna straighten up. I just wanna get it into position where I would like it. Let's straighten up. All right, let's straighten him up. Let's do a turn here. Get him nice and neat for him. Get him nice and neat for him here. Yes, sir. 
My chair wants to move every time I push her hard on the brakes. Alright, straighten him out. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, alright. Let's uh, bring him up into neutral. Let's hit the T button. Decouple him. All right, let's go. Excellent. We only drove a thousand yards. Holy cow. Just a few extra bucks. Nothing, nothing crazy. Oh, we got an extra skill point from that, so it was worth it. I'll tell you what. Let's do... I thought about doing important deliveries, but I'm not going to do that yet. Let's do fuel economy next, just to give us some extra fuel economy. All right, let's look at our... Oh, we got an email. Probably another loan. Special transports. Hello, boss. I have something special for you. Thanks to our connections, we're now able to get to a real challenge. Some special extra large and heavy cargoes need to be hauled by a true professional. It won't go easy and it'll require some skills, patience, cooperation with escorting vehicles and extra care, but I guess you have it all, right? Also, bigger risk comes with a bigger profit. If you're interested, you can visit these cities, okay? Arizona, Texas. I don't see Nevada. Oh, yeah, we got Prim, Nevada. Cool, cool. I dig it. Oh, are we level two yet? Yeah, we're level two. Awesome. Let's get back on the job market. Let's, uh, we're still in jackpot, so... This load's still up and it'll take us back to Reno, but I think I'm gonna do one of these. I think we'll take the highest paying one. I don't know, kind of sketched out by that small truck. 370 horsepower, 370 horsepower, 505 horsepower, but it's paying the least. 370 horsepower with 58,000 pounds. I mean, I guess we could try it, right? Let's go ahead and hit it. Let's take this one. All right, let's see what we're working with. Oh, wow. A little day cab on this farm. Let me turn the wheel back where it needs to go. We're starting from this farm again. It looks like they also have tanker style trailer here as well. They got their diesel and gas tanks over here. They got hay bales, looks like, over there. All right, we got two loads here. Let's go ahead and start him up. 241,000 miles on this one. Let's uh, go ahead and hit the zoom here. All right. Put him in first. We got 93 miles to go. Go ahead and uh, take him out. Of oh, and do you guys like the t-shirt? My therapist. It's a ratchet for those who don't know. I would hope you would if you're watching this style video. The Realistic Sounds mod pack is a must have for sure. Well, let's change the view here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run it. Well, never mind. I came to a full stop. We're, we got such heavy load that uh, it's going to take us a minute to get going, I think. Let's hit it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I accidentally downshifted right there. Hey, nice popo -po everywhere, son. Look at the popo. -po. I don't know what the speed, oh, speed limit's 30, okay. I was like, what is the speed limit? Oh, look at that tractor. That's awesome. So there's supposed to be like a camera, I think, around the maps, right? And you can, you can like discover dealerships and stuff. You guys like to let me know how all this works. I'm still like literally as green as possible when it comes to this game. Okay, just for reference. Oh, we got another stop sign. So let's go into the third person view here. Let's meet that fire uh, truck coming. Oh, don't hit the fire or the stop sign. Woo, pulling these long doubles, son. I think we got plenty of diesel. Yeah, we got plenty of diesel. So heavy. Back in the third person. Oh boy. This is gonna be difficult. Because we got a lot of cars coming and we gotta go left here. I mean, we're gonna have to just punch it out there. Look at the traffic. Oh, they letting me go. I guess they are. Cool. Well, gee, thanks guys. That was nice of them, wasn't it? That was very nice of them, wow. They all let old. Daddy J go, hey! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Speed limit's 45. Just 
Good old country road. Hey, <laughs> we are struggling. Speed limit 70. We are struggling to get up and going. Holy cow. We are heavy. Very heavy. Whew. Heck yeah. And these lights are bright. Even with these sunglasses on, they're blinding me. So I can use the green screen. Holy cow, that dude is moving. Holy, did you see that? Imagine if a car was turning in front of us right now. There's no way we could stop reliably. There is absolutely no way. We can't even get above 50. I'm going to have to downshift probably going up this hill. Maybe. Uh, might be all right. Let's get a little different camera angle here. Look at those rocks, man. That is awesome. I'm really enjoying this game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I also tried to get uh, the Mrs. Morano to come down here and drive for you guys, but she'll probably do that tomorrow. I better switch. I'm getting a little wobble here. Hard to see the road after a certain point, you know what I mean? Uh, we don't want to flip, so let's slow it down a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Got a little bouncy. Holding it firm at 60. Heck yeah. Well, uh, unless something happens, we can throw on, uh, I suppose, a little time lapse here with some driving. Oh, we are about to run off the road. Holy cow. That would have been very bad. I guess let's time lapse it or skip ahead. Uh-oh, we gotta pull in for the way station here. Let's slow it up. We don't get the bypass. We are weighing in heavy. Slow him down. Stop the truck at the way station. Let's pull him in here. Yes, sir. Gotta get that inspection. Make sure we're not overweight. Make sure we're not overweight here. Alright, let's pull up over the scale right here. All right, to pass the inspection, press enter. Total gross weight, 98,727 pounds. We are rolling heavy. Oh my goodness. Wow, we are a heavy boy for sure. It looks like it's a might come a storm. Cars better move over. So we are coming through. All right. I'm gonna drive on until we come into town. I'll see you guys at town. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking the Elko East exit here. Exit 303. If I was in my own truck, I would go see what that big question mark is on the mini map there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a big, oh, it's a Kenworth dealership. Man, I wish we weren't pulling doubles right now. We definitely have to stop there. Oh, it's our turn to go. Pull him on through here, yes sir. Red light, green light. Let's go. Our drop off is right around the corner. What is that? Oh look, it's donuts. Donut shop. Little gas station. It's very western town. Oh, another red light. Burgers. I was hoping I'd get a. Oh look at the tr the uh, train in the distance. It's awesome. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? How do you beep your horn? Like seriously? Did he not see me moving? Just started turning right on red while there's a double in front of him. What's he thinking? Trying to get an insurance claim or like, you know, like what's up? What's up, bro? Shoot. All right, let's give him an old right turn here. Yes, sir. All right, looks like we're going to the train yard here. Where do I turn in at? Over here? I think right here is where I turn in. Yep, right here. Let's go ahead and turn in then. Oh, here we are. 
Let's go ahead and pull it just a little bit. All right, hit the enter key. Where does this need to go? Uh, let's just skip this, 25 XP. Yeah, let's skip this one. Boom. 90 miles, we used 17 gallons of fuel. We got paid out $2,644. That's what I'm talking about with an added $45 proficiency level two bonus. Let's go, we are halfway to level three. That's what I'm talking about. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, please do hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the sub button because there's gonna be plenty more of these. I'm an other bitch and somebody's on their way. We need to discover that Kenworth dealership. So what we need to do, first off, we need to save the game because I know what happens when you don't do that because I played a lot of farming simulator. So quick job, we are in Elko. Oh, Walmart, to a Walmart and a budget. Oh, this will take us into California. Do we want to do that? Eight grand? Eight grand? That's a day cab, and it's Tuesday and delivery on Wednesday, though. And we have a day cab, so we're going to have to stay somewhere. This one, though, the one right underneath it pays literally the same. Hmm. Walmart, home accessories, paper. This is paper. 30,000 pounds of paper. Uh, this one has a sleeper in it, so we could pull in at a truck stop and sleep, and it's $22 a mile going into California, and then we can go from Truckee to Reno. I like staying in Nevada. I think I want to go. I'd like to go to Texas. That would be awesome. But for now, I think we do this one. We're going to have to um, construction houses. We're hauling construction homes. That's pretty cool. Utility poles, limestone, cable reels, ooh. wheels with Volvo rims going to California, $8,700. A day cab though, so we're gonna have to get a hotel. Machine parts, they're all, they all seem to be going to Truckee, California. So I think we're gonna take the highest bidder. They're all going to Truckee. Let's hit it. All right, guys, we're at the Walmart Distribution Center. We have taken on a single run contract for Walmart here. Start him up in the old Mack truck. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's uh, turn on the GPS here and let's go ahead and pull up out of this beast right here. Let's see, where do we need to go? We need to go left, yep. Let's see, I need the front end here, top down. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Now I want to get a good visual of that Walmart DC. Check that out. Man, It's this game is very realistic, actually. Let's see, I want to turn in here for a moment. We might have to back up. I'm gonna mess around for just a second because I'm, you know, that extra. Gosh, my wheel is vibrating okay all right let's hit the road everybody here at work or something everybody here slacking off i suppose yeah everybody's just on their break here all right let's hit the road we got a long journey 381 miles we're gonna have to stop in some of these towns and we're gonna we're gonna have to rest we at least have to get the the camera thing we get up the stop sign put him in first um where is the kenworth dealership i thought we uh seen that coming in all right no traffic it's good we we've got to drive to the Ken there's a dollar general i see oh there's a tesla here too that's weird oh well we'll discover it next time i suppose it, there should be a way to look oh there is i guess we're too far from it oh no it's down the road darn it we're up on the next exit okay that's oh well we know where it's at we know where the good loads are at. Shout out Subaru. I'm getting on the road, son. Big daddy. 380 miles, let's get this trip over with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to quit looking over at the camera. 80 mile an hour speed done, let's get some speed. We're hauling paper, we're lightweight, come on. Come on. All right, let's, uh, let's throw out a time lapse.
gonna be a long drive. Holy cow, long drive. Oh, are we coming up on a town? Oh yeah, Tonopah is what this town's called. Let me see if I can pull up a map. So it looks like they just have a gas station, I think. Um, they have a gas station here and then up the road they have a rest area, it looks like. But no, no camera of any sort that I see anyway so we're just gonna bypass this town i think there's like a camera symbol that'll show you big cities or towns guys we're sitting at eleven thousand one hundred eighty six dollars let's go oh, i think they're slowing down up here i need to go ahead and slow down a little bit everybody sees that cop up there and they start slowing down oh boy get over here in the fast lane because we are we're only hauling paper so Carson City. Right here is that Winamuka place that we was at. And we are actually moving. Oh wait, we're 65 mile an hour speed limit. What's going on here? Oh, cop pulled him over, buddy. We were just speeding too, so that's funny. That is very, very funny. Awesome. We're just passing everything on this trip. Holy cow. Oh, dang, we actually need some fuel. I just noticed, if you look in the bottom right corner, we are below half of tank. Holy cow. Why are we so low on fuel for? Uh, the next stop, we're going to have to stop and get some fuel. Uh, is there anybody over there? Because we're going to have to pass this guy, too. He's barely moving. Probably governed, if I had to guess. We probably have enough fuel, but I just want to be on the safe side and not run out of fuel on the side of the road. That would be terrible. Let's go ahead and swing it back in this lane. Oh boy. Why is everybody going so slow? Speed limit's 80 and I have to keep passing people. We got a three hour, 57 minute trip, man. Holy cow. Coca-Cola truck, check that out. Look at that, Coca-Cola. Moving that product, son, and them doubles. That's what I'm talking about, son. Oh, shoot. Getting a little tight through here. Making me nervous. Making me nervous. Oh, yeah. We are just moving right now. Let's go ahead and swing him in the other lane. This next stop, we got to get some fuel. So, yes, sir. Moving right along. Where is the next stop? Gosh, we got quite a trek till we get some fuel. Hopefully we got enough to make it, that's all I gotta say. Cause if not, we are screwed. That would suck. We are actually flying. We was going 91 in an 80, holy cow. It's not night time, so we better slow it up a little bit. Still gonna pass these guys though. I can't believe it. it. The speed limit's 80 and we're still just flying by these guys. I guess it just goes to show you that paper is very lightweight. It's, I don't know. It said 37,000 thousand pounds. Whatever we're driving must have a big engine. That's the only thing I can think of. Look at this little box truck. Look here. Little boss truck. Coca-Cola box truck. Oh, get out of the fast lane, you lane camper. Get out of the fast lane. Hey. It looks like we're coming up on a town with some fuel. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over. It's around this corner up here, so that's good. The thing is, we're gonna have to slow down. There's a way station over there. Everybody's going so slow. They're going 67 and an 80. What's up? What is going on? Oh, there's one down. Oh, don't brake check me like that. Jesus. Put him down in the 10th gear. Get up this hill. Let's drop him in the 9th. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We're definitely going to have to uh, make a stop up here for sure. If uh, we still got a little bit of ways to go. Speed limit 65. We're going 60. City limits. Should be a exit lane right here. Here it is. This is Reno. We'll make a stop in Reno. Fuel, some good old diesel. Where's the exit at? Here we go. All right, let me set the GPS here. Exit, Reno, fourth of a mile. Here we go. 
Here we go. All oh, that air brake popping. Now the question is, where is the fuel station at? Oh, we got some traffic coming. We are just out in the road, but luckily there's nothing coming. Oh, they're letting me go. Thank you. Whoa, Camaro, son. We need some fuel. Badly. We're beating the red light. We were already out of here. We gotta go down the street in Reno here. Oh, we got a green light, let's punch it. Man, the gas station is way down here. Why is it all the way at the other end is my question. Oh, I see a little camera too, you see that? And we need fuel, bad. Uh-oh, is that closed off? Oh no, it's up here, okay. I was like, uh, excuse me? Let's go ahead and beat the green, or the yellow. Still green, but you know. Oh, I see a dollar store. We're actually going a little bit over the speed limit here. What is that in the background? That's a truck dealership, so maybe we ride around there first and discover that. I think I see it in the bottom right there on the map. Let's do that. Let's go by the dollar store. Look, it's a Dollar General. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Check that out. Your best family. That is awesome. I think we got plenty of time. We don't have to be there until Wednesday, and we only have 118 miles left, so we should be good. What is this right here? Is this our garage? Yeah, this is our hideout thing, whatever. That's our truck headquarters. What the heck? Why is it? What is it doing there? Huh. I did not know that our place is located in Reno. Pretty bad company owner, huh? Crap, we're actually speeding. Let's slow it down a little bit. Don't need to go over eighth gear. This big old Mack truck. All right, we need some fuel. So, fuel station is way down here. Okay. Gosh, this has been the longest journey for fuel that I've ever seen. What about you all? If I would have known, I would have went down one more exit. We got off too early, I think. Just give me headaches wearing this hat. Let's see here. Uh, we don't want that. We want this, and we want to change this. The Peterbilt dealership's down here. We've already discovered that one, so we need to go down here. Oh, we're speeding through town, actually. Actually, there's the Peterbilt dealership where we can buy our first truck if we if we want to peat. And I'll leave that to your guys' comment below because this is going to take multiple episodes. This is the longest trip ever to get gas. Holy cow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the gas station after quite some time. It's taken us quite some time, actually. So glad we're finally here. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and pull in here and fuel up. Fill this big rig up, buddy. All right. $5.43 a gallon. Let's hit the E key. Oh, you actually have to hold it down and fuel up? That's interesting. We're already at $300. Oh my gosh. All right. We'll put it at 700 even. 700. It's good to me. Let's hit it. The fuel expenses are covered by our employer? Really? Yo! They covered our fuel expenses for us. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. And we're going to be driving from Walmart a lot. Oh, we got a red light. We're going to block all the traffic. Straight goes to Sacramento. Here we go. Got to get back on the highway. I'm going to California. Hey, here we go. Oh, gosh. We got a semi coming in hot. They ain't quitting either. Here we go. West 80 freeway entrance. Here we go. We made it. It took a while, but we finally got fuel. Holy cow. Had to take the sunglasses off too. My eyes were getting dry. Oh, we're 
Yes, sir. All right, let's, uh, we're good. We are good. Yeah, and li wow. Literally, the drop-off is the next town up. But I think we would have actually ran out of diesel. But it was our first time using a diesel station. And that time, we didn't have to pay for it. So that's awesome. We're going to have to drive for Walmart more, for sure. For sure. Walmart's got that good pay. IRL, they're paying, like, starting out, drivers get paid over 100 grand a year. Last I looked. So it must be a pretty good company to drive for overall, I would suppose. Oh, wow, look at the homes over there. Oh, did you see the construction back there? That is sick. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're swerving. We're swerving. Oh, crap. 65 mile an hour speed limit there. 65 mile an hour speed limit there. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I need to quit looking off. Wow, it looks awesome. Look at this. Look at the trees. Oh, look at those homes in the trees over there. That is awesome. Truckee River. I have no idea where it's at. I suppose California, because you know, Truckee, California was where we're going, right? <laughs> Napa Auto Parts truck, you see that? Radar enforced. Wait, what? All vehicles when towing, 55. Move over or slow for emergency parking only. Huh, interesting. Trucks use right lane. <laughs> Way station, one mile. I guarantee we get pulled in. What do you want to bet? Way station, next right. Here we are. It's going to tell us. Please pull in for a vehicle inspection. Knew it. Go ahead and downshift. Exit 10 mile an hour. Agricultural inspection ahead. Stop the truck to get weighed, all righty. Let's get weighed up right here. To pass the inspection. Vehicle gross weight, 63,828 pounds. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, let's hit the road. What's going on up here? These people are, I suppose, sleeping here. Trucks and buses only go right, okay. I have never seen this. What is this? Oh, we got a yield, that's great. Okay, that's great. Oh, he's gonna let us in. Cool. Good thing we're going this way. Oh gosh, it's cause we're going into California, ain't it? Ugh. Agricultural. We're gonna stop up here. We just passed an expansion, we gotta stop again. If you start agricultural inspection. Inspection in progress. Inspection finished. You may continue driving. Thanks for wasting our time. <sighs> Two inspections in a row, son. Come on. Do you want your paper or do you not? All right, let's get back on the highway here. There's a cob down there on that road. Trucks, three axles or more, 55. Oh, yeah. Moving right along. Look at that max steering wheel though. Whoo wee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, rumble strips. Oh, we're supposed to be going 55. Oh yeah, we're supposed to stop like right here. Let me check the GPS. Yeah, right down here. And we're taking this exit. All right. Go ahead and downshift. Yes, sir. Easy does it. Is there a Home Depot over here? Is that where we're delivering to? And oh, a Home Depot. I'll look around about. Thing nothing's coming. No, we're not delivering here. Oh look, Home Depot left. I mean, I got to get a picture of that, right? Look at that. Trucky discovered. Look at the Home Depot over there. That is so cool. Wow. We can turn right on red, right? Red light violation? What do you mean? Psh, come on now. You can turn right on red, can't you? I didn't see no signs that don't turn right on red. Shoot. Oh, right up here. We got to turn right here to this Walmart. Come on. Taking all day, sir.
Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We made it to Truckee, California. And the question is, is do I want to back this thing up where it needs to go? Budget office in store. Enter. Oh my gosh, it needs to go all the way over there or right here? 90 XP. Let's let's try it. But if I get stuck, I'm not. Hang on. Let's see what we got around here. Let's see what's what. If it's crazy, I want to be like, yeah, no, I'm good. Let's round this corner. How tough of a spot we talking? Holy cow. We gotta turn this big rig all the way around. All right. This is gonna be some tight maneuvering. Let's whip him around here. So first, what I wanna do. I want to back him straight back first. Let's back him straight on back. Actually, we might be able to check knife it a bit here. Let's get him turning real good. Oh yeah, just like that, baby. No problem, actually. Can we get that in there? All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's not chance that. Let's not do that. Let's see here. I need to get a top down. Let's pull him back out here. Let's get a little straighter. here. Let me straighten him out real good right here, right next to this corner. I need to use this corner the best I can. What little room I got here. I love the top down view. Problem is I can't see everything I need to. That corner is awful right there, man. Nice and easy. There we go. Easy him on in there. All right, now let's go ahead and start turning the other way, getting him straightened up in there. Hey, looky, looky there. Not as straight as we could be, but guess what? We're going to hit T and call it a day. Let me get it out of reverse. Holy cow. Boom. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. And we got level three off that. Let's go. We got excellent $8,300 base pay with the $159 proficiency and a long distance delivery bonus of $397 for a total of $8,863.852 experience points. Nice. Now that leaves us at, oh, we got a skill point. Ooh, we can do hazardous. Hmm, do we want to do hazardous? Or do we want to do fuel economy? Or high value? Don't want to do fragile, I don't think. Let's, let's get our certification of class one. Can we, do we have more? No. Let's get class one explosive certification. Certified, rather. All right, we got a new email. Of course, it's from the bank. We can help you grow. And apparently our credit limit has been raised to 500K, but guess what? We're not doing any loans this playthrough to the best of our ability that we can do. All right, we're going to end this episode. I've got to go eat some supper. We're ending at 19,789. I'm going to say by episode four or five, we'll have our first truck. I want to do more loads. So maybe it might be worth doing more short runs than these long distance ones, even though they are double the money. I don't know. Maybe we need to do like two or three long distance runs at a time. I don't know. You guys have to comment down below. Uh, these videos are probably going to be longer. If you guys have watched all the way to the end and you're a real one, let me know in the comment section below with a word of the day, Peterbilt, P-E-T-E-R-B-I-L-T. -E -E and please hit that like button if you haven't already. If you enjoy this type of content, that lets me know that I need to cre keep creating this type of content with this game. And if you haven't already and you like it here, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.